the world with the, the thermally indicted game and why not but before we go on to who's playing if we then and who's gonna win who's gonna come out on top if you know you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button turn on the bell, note, bell notification button and join the adventure fan because you do not want to miss all the adventure all these crazy adventure coming your way very soon, so stay tuned and then comment down below what team is shocking you in week 10 of the 2019-2020 football season. There are many teams that are shocking right now, but I want to hear your opinion before I tell mine. And give this video a big thumb up if you are excited for football weekend. It's almost the weekend, y'all. It's almost the weekend. All right. With that all out of the way, let's get right into this madness of fun. With the very first game to start out, we did. We got the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. Now, Buffalo beat the Giants at home in Matt Lyon. Um. And this is a Thursday night game, prime time. I'm hoping Daniel Jones, the rookie tournament for the Giants, will come out, play like he's been playing the last couple of weeks, and win the new one. Win the Patriots. Like, just get them out of here. I'm hoping for them to lose. Then we head into Sunday with the very first matchup. We got the Panther versus the Buccaneers. And I think I'm gonna go with the Panthers. Because they're playing, they're looking good. Like, they're not good good, and they're not bad bad. They're in the middle, but they're looking good. Especially the running back, McCaffrey. He, he's just going nuts on that field. And then, heading into the following day, we got the Washington Redskins going up against the 0-5 Miami Dolphins. Yep, you heard me right. They are 0-5. I'm thinking Washington's going to bounce back on what happened last week in, in, with the, the Patriots and beat the Dolphins and have them go zero for this. I can see that happening with the Washington. They're gonna bounce back. Then we head into the following game. We got the New Orleans Saints versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars is playing good, but they just can't finish. New Orleans Saints been playing good since we won, and they are out without their starting quarterback, and they're still doing amazing. I think New Orleans Saints gonna win this one. And then the next day, we got the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cincinnati Bengals. And here, Bengals are not doing that good this year. Let me just put, you, put it right there. Put it on the table, they're not doing that good. Baltimore Ravens are doing amazing. They had some really high scoring, very slow game. Lamar Jackson is just taking ownership of that team. I think Baltimore Ravens gonna have an easy win this week. Then we go into the next game of Sunday with the Seattle Seahawks and the Cleveland Browns. This is gonna be a good game to pay attention to because it did to go either way. Seattle Seahawks is doing amazing right now, but so is the Browns. They're one of the two teams that is shocking America right now. They are doing amazing. But if I had to put somebody on top of the other, I might have to take Seattle with Russell Wilson, but probably not by a lot. 
And I think this is going to be either a blowout game or this is going to be a very, very tight throwing game. Then we head into the Philadelphia the Eagles and the Vikings. Oh, this is going to be a tough win, but I think I know who's going to come out on top with this one. Sorry, Eagles fan. Minnesota Vikings is just a little bit better this year than you die, so I'm giving my W to the Vikings. Then we head into the game of the weekend. Game of the weekend right here. We got two young quarterbacks going, competing against each other. We got Deshaun Watson. We got Pat Mahomes going at it to show which one will be the person to dominate. Will it be Watson and the Texan or will it be Mahomes? And the street. I'm. This is the one game that I'm looking forward to to watching because hey, my team had a bye week. We got a bye week, so my team's not even playing. But this is the one team I'm gonna be watching this weekend because it's gonna get nuts. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be a tight, tight game until the very last second, possibly even overtime. All right, then we head into the Belton and the Tornado game. This one is gonna be, it's gonna be tight. Both of the teams are, eh, they're all right. They both won some game, they both lost some game. They're both struggling a little bit. This is gonna be a tight fall game. This could go either way. If I had to pick a winner, ooh. I want to see Kyle Murray win another one. I want to see him win against Matt Ryan. But that offense on Belton with Matt Ryan, with Treeman and Julia Jones, I don't know if I can pass that up. But all I'm going to say is this game is going to be tight. Tight. Then we head into the 49ers versus the Wham. The Wham lost last week. I think the 49ers had a bye week. The 49ers definitely rested and they're playing very well. This, it, they're the other team that is shot in America right now, the 49ers. I think the 49ers are going to take down the Ram. Not by a lot, not by a little. It, it's going to be a battle. It, they're going to have to battle their way to the win, but I think the 49ers are going to find a way to, to come out on top. Then we head into the Tennessee Titans versus the Broncos. This game, I have no idea who's gonna win. I don't know who's gonna lose. This could be a low throwing game for both. Both of the team are, eh, not the best. But I have a feeling Tennessee Titans gonna win only because they lost last week against Buffalo, so I think they want to have a rebound with a W. So I'm kind of pushing for Titan. But I don't know. It's gonna be a slow one, y'all. It's gonna be a slow one. Then we head into New York Jets, taking on the Dallas Cowboys. I don't have to do much just talking about this one. Cowboy, Cowboys gonna win. And then Sunday night, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Chargers. Pittsburgh Steelers one and four. Yeah, they're one and four. And the Chargers is, I think, three and two. Two and three. I don't know, something like that. I think it's gonna be a good game. A good Sunday night game to watch, to pay attention to before you get ready for Monday morning back to work. Um, I, if it were me, it might, I don't know, if if James Conner did what he did a couple of weeks ago and just dominated, they can win. If he don't do that, I think Charger's going to win. Charger have a good defense too. Keep in mind that. Charger have a good defense. I think Charger's going to win this one. Then, Monday night, we got a rivalry matchup between the White Lion and the Green Bay Panthers. 
this is her rivalry. This is her big game right here. Whoever's gonna win is gonna have Brandon Roy over the rivalry. Um, the Lions are looking amazing right now. Don't with the Green Bay Panthers. Green Bay Panthers kind of average. They're not looking the best. But the Lions are looking good from previous years. I don't know if I can pick a winner. All I'm saying is Monday night game is going to be a good one to watch. Prime time, rivalry matchup, a tight game, all the way down to the last second of the game. I think it's going to be a good one. All right, y'all. That is all the NFL football game this weekend. I hope you guys enjoy my pick. I hope you guys agree with what I've done. And let's have some fun this weekend and watch the day. Especially that Deshaun Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes. That's going to be a good day to pay attention to. Um, and with that, I hope you enjoy your football Sunday. And don't have fun. Make sure you don't have fun. And remember, Find your magic moment. You are worth it. Believe in yourself. You can do anything you want to do. Just have that mindset and you can do anything. Have that mindset, have that work ethic, whatever. You can do it. And actually, we live in a perfect, perfect time right now where you can do anything you want that you are passionate about, that makes you happy that make you inspire, you can do whatever you want and make a life out of it. So go and find your passion. Create your own story. Write your own story. Who knows? But y'all, before we go, you know what's coming. We end up dancing. But before that, just remember, find your magic moment, y'all. Find your magic. And with that, let in, let's get into dumb. Random!